Hey guys, Susanna Easdale here. Um, I'm going to be doing a, um, a video on how I make a start to my family album. And I've got um, some photos, some old photos here. I've been inspired by the YouTube artist um, Marilyn Rivera and she does beautiful vintage style um, oh, uh, scrapbook. So I wanted to sort of do scrapbooking combined with um, old style, um, you know, journaling and all that kind of stuff. So I want to show you, I've got this gorgeous thing I got from Kay's Art Craft. And it's got all these beautiful papers. And I pinched a paper. Where are we? Um, this one is specifically inspired by this one. So what I've done, I've had to make uh, it's a little bit smaller than 12 by 12 this album. So I've just had to cut along here. And I've, with my knife, I've cut along the inside and in and around here. So this, that's the process I've done so far. So what I'm going to do is I have to open this up oh, excuse all this mess glasses and everything got the aircon on so that's the noise in the background so what I'm going to do is open this up I've got my um, iPad over in the corner there so what I want to do is that's going to go in there this is the template I ripped out a page and put that in there like this. I'll just cut this piece out. And I'm gonna put that there like that. Okay. Use this doily. So hold that there. Then I'm gonna get double-sided tape. And put a bit of tape there. A bit of tape here and then take that off I'm doing this for a reason because I need to arrange it so now try and carefully place it like it's back in the middle and have it sitting there and I've marked out so I'll take this off love it, love it, love it, love it I've marked some places here um, which I'm going to just tear sorry it seems a little weird to do this but method in my madness Um, I really loved, loved what um, Marilyn did. It was really nice. So, that, and as much as it seems crazy, I'm going to cut across here. I might even um, keep that butterfly and cut that out. Where is the rubber? another bit that I've got here so, so what I'm gonna do yep put that up a bit higher pieces out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is get some distress oxide. And just distress in those bits here. Because what I want to do sort of Press it, curl it over a little bit, so 
thing here. Almost looks like it's being burnt, which is what I really like actually. Now, um, sort of fold that down a little bit. Have that stressed like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to use my White Lilies book. This is my grandparents, it's my mum's um, grandparents, so my great grandparents. So I thought I'm going to start with, and they used to call them Parker and Beppa, which is um, grandma and grandpa, so Opa and Oma in Frisian, um, from my dad's, from her dad's side. I've got some from my mum's side. This is, that's her grandparents from her dad's side. And then this is her grandmother from her mum's side. So I'll do grandparents from the dad's side. I want to get um, some um, paper. I'll bring that in every now and again. So you've got this coming underneath, and you've got paper that sort of sticks up there like that and so I want to incorporate some vintage paper which I'll probably put the word um, I'll even see if I can incorporate the word white lilies along here or at least lilies if that'll work Razor, rub that off. So I thought I'll get some old, the old paper from my my white lilies book, which means a lot to me because it's from my white lilies thing. So what I'm going to do is get some. of this for now to hold that down writing there. Now, um, what I might 
do. Um, is use another page and just get it in. Um, go a little bit down. So that we can start start with the writing. a bit annoying. Can't go down any further. Come on. I'll just do it like that. Come across. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, my head's right in the way. <laughs> the background noise it is my um, oh my air conditioner going it's not easy sometimes getting this stuff off where are we oh for goodness sake I'm just gonna take it off and maybe put a bit of glue on there Probably the gear. Okay. Now, sorry for my head again, people. I have to make sure that it's going over at least over the one side. And then I'll get another little piece of paper. The glue works a little better than the glue. Um, this stuff just doesn't seem to want to work for me. Now, Doing is um, I've got this 
beautiful draw lily, which is going to go in there. And I have the peak there, um, picture on there like that. But before I do that, I really love these. I wonder if I can find one that sort of suits. Carefully. Ooh, these are the heavy heavies. Man, this paper is old. Okay. Um, that still may go there. Then, what I would like to do. Let's grab some more paper from my um, paper stash and I think maybe I quite like layers and then I've got um, some vintage sheet music and all that a bit later yeah, that's quite nice too so we'll have a bit of a play see what we've got okay I love that one that one's coming out I might use that one on my next layer I think but okay so what I want to do I want to work with um, what I'm going to put on the back behind them. sheet music here too so oh, it's looking so nice so far so pretty that. 
launch the pink around the outside. What I might do is um, I'm just going to stick stick down these. up a little bit with um, with this the oxide so what I would like to do is just sort of stick it on there like that and then just cut it Maybe just make it on this side. It's all good. All good. Now, what we'd like to do is have some of that. this okay. I love that underneath there I think that's so pretty um, whether that ends up there to fold down that may end up top There we go, might be as crook as a dog's on leak, mind you. And that needs to be straighter. I 
terrible. Just gonna wait and see. white to show so it makes, matches in with the background. Okay. It's going to go there like this and then this will go there like that. Okay. a bit of something something along the top there I'm actually thinking <sighs> um. yeah, it's got lace don't want lace bit of need some flowers of some sort these little off cuts. I'll put that there. I was actually thinking I left this out on purpose. Where is it? Um, this. And I wouldn't mind maybe making a flower, a couple of those flowers along with these. darken them up a bit because they're a bit bright and then do a flower so I am going to pause it and I'll be back okay back again um, I've made some flowers from that pretty floral, floral paper and from the this paper and rather than using those other green leaves I got this green paper and I used crush olive and it was a not dark enough so I um, got mowed lawn as well which I'm going to finish off this one with the mowed lawn I've got stuff all over my fingers so I'm just going to wipe that down so I might grab some other distress ink as well look and go around the flowers too maybe in some pink raspberry might be a bit pink. We'll have a look. We'll have a look here. Eh? I think. Ooh. Might be a bit pink. Oh well. Just have to see how it works. Um. thinking probably especially around these ones a bit too pink I might actually go the um, vintage vintage photo and I know walnut stain so what I'm gonna do with these babies Again. Okay. This is taking a while, but that's okay. So what I'll do is I really do like 
I have to just add that along there like this. Doesn't matter if I haven't got the word beauty, that's fine. Have that go in there like that. Add this. Popping out there like this. Now, what I would like to do with these is where's my might we go over there with the with the um, walnut stain because it's a bit bright with the old pink. So I might mix and match. Um, flower like this and um, maybe one like that and a couple then I've got some buttons some of these or oh, some pink ones let's see how we go or some other repel don't mind those it's got that little vintage look and the mother of pearl in the big one
that'll contrast with that. And here's that mother of pearl gone. Where did you go? Here's the other mother of pearl. Um, I don't mind that. I think that looks really cute. So, um, here we go. Oop. Quite like how it's looking. It looks very soft and vintagey. Okay. Now, pause it for a sec. Okay, I changed my mind. I took out that doily because you didn't see enough of it. I've got this little bit of lace here, um, and I'm just going to have a small little flower and all that there. I'm going to glue this down and then um, show you the results in the end. And on the bottom here, I'm just going to write down um, my family stuff. So I'll show you. Um, how it turns out in the end. I'm really happy with how it's looking. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, well, it's all glued down. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out. It's so gorgeous. I'm going to put um, the information about my grandparents there. But it's got the little flowers in here and it's all turned up like that. So that's my first page of my family heritage journal. I really am happy. That looks so good. And um, this is the little butterfly that was just here. So I've repurposed re that. And here's the side here. So um, you'll see, I'll, I'll, have, I'll take a photo, I'll write down, I want to write down off camera. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turned out actually. So it's utilising some of the flowers that I use the die cuts for. And yeah. So that's the, the first page. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, it's sort of a bit of scrapbooking journal come journaling. So um, this is my um, first one of many that I'm going to be doing and utilising some old book pages and lace and buttons and everything. So I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.